Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem. This is x to the power of 2 equals 8 power x. You are solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation, meaning you are solving for the value of x that we are going to raise to the power of 2. And it will also equal to raising that same value or raising it to the power of that value. For instance, if x is 1, that means I'm going to have 1 power 2. This should give me the same value as 8 power 1. Alright, now 1 power 2 is 1. And this is not the same as 8 power 1, which is 8. So we are looking for this value here. So, let's apply natural log. Natural log of x power 2 equals natural log of a power x and if you have natural log of a power p this equals p times natural log of a applying that here you have 2 times natural log of x equals x times natural log of 8 this comes behind this and this comes behind this Next step is to divide this by x and we divide this by x. This eliminate this. We have 2 times natural log of x divided by x equals natural log of 8. So we can also divide each part of this equation by 2. We divide this by 2. We also divide this by 2. So, when you have a divided by b, divided by c, divided by 1, this is a divided by b times 1 over c. So, this is over 1. So, that means the rule of this will give us 2 times natural log of x, divided by x, times 1 divided by 2, and this equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. So from here, multiply the denominator of the natural log of x divided by 2x equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. 2 eliminates 2. We have natural log of x divided by x equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now, to solve this further, we make use of what we call the Lambert W function. And this function here is represented with capital letter W. Meaning that, and for us to make use of this function, you must have an expression such as a times e power a, you apply the lambda derivative function represented with capital letter W, the result here will be a. So we need to convert this to an expression like this. So to achieve this, I'll start by replacing this x here with e power natural log of x. Remember, e power natural log of a is the same thing as having a because e raised to the power of natural log cancel out. So we are just re replacing x with e power natural log of x. So this equation becomes natural log of x divided by e power natural log of x, which is the same thing as x equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now, what we are going to do again will be to when you solve this identity, remember, if you have 1 divided by a, this is just like having a power negative 1. So, we can express this as natural log of x times 1 divided by e power natural log of x. Remember, if you multiply this numerator, you have the same thing. And this equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. 
and from this particular identity, this will simply give us e power negative natural log of x. So we have natural log of x times e power negative natural log of x equals natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now from this lambda wave function here, remember the a and the a here are the same. So we need to ensure that the natural log of x here and this one are the same. So to achieve that, we multiply this with negative 1 and multiply this with negative 1. So multiplying this with negative 1 simply we have negative natural log of x times e power negative natural log of x equals negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. So right now, we can apply the lambda wave function because this and this are the same. We have the lambda wave function of negative natural log of x times e power negative natural log of x equals the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. When you apply the lambda wave function here, what you are going to get will be negative natural log of x. And this equals the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. Don't forget the fact that we are solving for x. So, to achieve that, consider, consider this. If you have a times log b, this equals log b power a. This property here is applied to this. So this negative here will come over here. We have natural log of x power negative 1 equals the thumb up wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now we need to eliminate this natural log. So we make use of e. F e power natural log of x power negative 1 equals e power the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. So from here, this cancel this. F x power negative 1 equals e power the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now, remember, a power negative 1 equals 1 over a. So, x power negative 1 will be 1 over x equals e power the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. Now, what you are going to do is to divide this by 1 so that we can cross multiply. So x multiplies this, we have x times e power the lambda drive function of natural log of 8 divided by 2 equals 1 multiplies 1, we have 1. So right now, we can decide to isolate x, have x equals by dividing this by the same thing, let me just divide this by e to the power of lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. We divide this by the same thing, negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. So what happens here is that this eliminates this, and we have x equals 1 divided by e to the power of the lambda wave function of negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. So this becomes our answer. Now, for you to get this particular value in your calculator, you simply type in this into your calculator. When x equals 1 divided by, you might not see this capital letter W, which is the lambda wave function, but you are likely going to see product log. You have e power product log. Product log is another name for lambda wave function. That is product logarithm. 
a half of na negative natural log of 8 divided by 2. And once you type in this, you have an approximate value for x, which is approximately 0 0.5 negative 0 0.559. So this is that value that we have been looking for, negative 0 0.5 times 9. So if you verify, you can decide to verify x power 2 equals a power x and our x is negative 0 0.559 we can substitute this for x to check negative 0 0.559 raised to the power of 2 is it equals as a power negative 0 0.559 so if you raise this to the power of 2, you have positive. So this will give you about 0 0.3124. And approximately, this also will give you about 0 0.31. So this time around, you have 25 or 26. So you have 25, which is very similar, very plus. Because of some... This is my point that we considered right here in the answer. That's why you are not having the exact value. We approximated this into three decimal places. I did mean we increase it to four or five. Our answer would have been close to almost the same values. I mean, when you verify, we have actually gotten almost the same thing, depending on the number of decimal points that we stopped. So that is it, guys. Thank you and goodbye.